Hi, my name is Lucia. I'm a technology consultant at Continuous Technologies. This is the 13th episode in the All Tricks Tips and Tricks series, where we help you make your workflow reach its full potential. In this workflow, I will teach you how to cache and run your workflow. If you're connecting to a really large data source, or your workflow is taking a really long time to run at certain parts, you're able to cache it, which will take a local copy of that data in that current instance, freeze it, and then after that, you can add any kind of changes you want to that portion of the workflow. So let's say I know I'm completely done with this portion of the workflow and everything after, I don't wanna change anything. So if I cache it up to this point, it's gonna pull this data source in, um, create a local copy of that, pull, apply these changes, and then create a local copy of that. And then you'll see bubbles pop up around these. And I'm not able to edit anything between these tools or coming out, but after those tools, I can go through and edit. So if I right click on where I want to cache up until and then choose cache and run workflow, it'll rerun that workflow, refresh the sources and put bubbles around the tools that are cached. Now something to note, if you cached in a certain instance and you are reading from a data source and that data source is then changed, you're going to need to refresh the connection and clear the cache if you want to get those changes. So this is taking the run in that certain instance. To clear the cache, you'll see here, and if I click on these tools, they're cached, so any changes made to the configuration will clear it. If I want to change anything here. But to clear, I can right click and clear the cache. Those bubbles will go away, and I can rerun this workflow.